Hi and welcome to McTish. In today's video I'm going to take you through the Content Manager 9.4 web client, going through some of the new features and enhancements that have been included in this version. Today I will be using Google Chrome for this demonstration and number one on the list is you can now drag and drop multiple items into the web client at once. So rather than having to do them one at a time, you can grab multiple records or documents, drag and drop them into the web client and you get the option to check them all in at once. Once they are displayed on the screen there and you've selected your record type, you can click check in. And as you can see there, it'll progress and go through all of the documents. And there you go, they have all been checked in at once. Next on the list is you can download multiple records at once into a zip file. I'm using my recent documents here. I'm just going to select multiple documents. And as you can see, I have four selected. And on the left hand side, if I click on this blue arrow, I can download these electronic documents to my device. And as you can see down the bottom, they've come down as a zip file. From here, I'll have a look in the folder. And if I double click on my zip file, you can see the contents and they are the exact documents I just downloaded. Next, I'm going to show you that now when you do a document content search and you preview the document in the preview panel, it'll actually highlight the word. So for example, I'm going to do a document content search using the search editor. Just looking for the word employment. Run my search. And I retrieve my document. If I click on the word icon to have a look at the document, as you can see there, the word I was looking for is highlighted. And as you scroll down the page, anytime where you see the word employment, it actually is highlighted. And you can take that off by unticking the show highlighting option down the bottom here. Another nice feature they have included in the web client is you can now view renditions in the web client. I'm just going to look for my record number here. Frogs and rainforests. If I have a look in the Word document, I'm currently having a look at the Word version of this document. I can see it's a DOCX. However, on the top right hand side here, I now have renditions. If I click on the renditions panel, I get the option to select the PDF and my PDF will be displayed on the screen. If you don't want to look at the PDF anymore, you just need to close the window by clicking on the X. The next item they have included is you can now manually number your records. So when you add a document into the web client, you don't have to solely rely on automatic numbering. You can now manually number your records. I'll just add a document into the web client. Select the appropriate record type. Complete at least the mandatory fields. When you save the document, you'll be asked to number the record. Update the record number and save it. There's my document with my manual record numbering. If you're an organization that utilizes the document review and authorization process, you can now kick this process off inside the web client. The document review now appears on the very right hand side so you can start review, add in your comments or complete the review or start the author authorization as such. 
Another really cool feature they have included in the web client is the ability to easily update your logo. This allows you to, rather than use the Content Manager logo, you can now replace it with your own so you feel like you're customising the web client for your organisation. That is the new and exciting features they have included in the web client. Now I'm going to briefly take you through some of the enhancements they have included. In the older versions of the web client, the navigation panel used to sit on the left hand side. They have now moved it to the top where you click on these three lines and it drops down from the top for you. And if you do not want to look at it, you can click on it and it disappears. They have also updated the methods for tagging and tasking. So in my recent documents, you can now tag and task and update the security of multiple records at once. And you can also tag and task multiple records to make them final. So once you have tagged your multiple records under the more on the left hand side here, you'll see, we well, you can just see security and access. This allows you to make the necessary security changes to the security levels, caveats, or the access controls and save it. And as you can see, it'll update it and give you the progress. Also on those same records, if I wanted to, I can make them final. Make them final, draft a working document or final and remove any previous revisions. We'll make them final in this case. Another cool enhancement if they, they have improved the way they handle lookup sets. I'll just drag and drop a document into Content Manager, the web client. Complete the necessary fields. Down the bottom here, I have an animals lookup set. If I click on the little quick select icon or the folder, I can easily navigate through the lookup sets without having any issues at all. And I can save my documents. They have also improved the check-in style creation inside the web client. So now when you're creating your check-in style, the first thing you will get asked for is the record type. Once you've selected the record type, the only additional fields you will see when completing the check-in style are the additional fields that relate to the record type itself. So these are the additional fields that I have on my record type for my document. Complete the fields that are at least mandatory and save your new check-in style. And last but not least, as you are probably aware, you can create search forms for the web client. They have improved these search forms. I have an end user form here. So now when you are searching, you have the option for any location fields to do recursive searching. Just tick the box. And if it's relevant, it'll do its recur recursive searching for you. They have also included in the search form the ability to filter. So I'll just open my end user search form again. And right at the top here, I can actually apply the appropriate filters, which we are all familiar with if you use the installed client. Also, I can filter by record type. This is very, very handy where in the past you were unable to perform this functionality. That's all I have to show you in the web client today. If you require further information about training all the features of the web client, please head over to the McTish website and make an inquiry and we'll be very happy to help you. Have a good day.